Well, well, look who joined us this morning. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back. I don't have much time left. I know. I spent 17 years working it out, planning it, building Monarch, because I knew what was coming, and I knew it couldn't be stopped. But what I've built has been turned against me. What is the point in saving them if I can't trust them? <sighs> oh, he's still sick. I'm he slipping is... away. Yep. To pain and rage. The sickness is accelerating. The CFR. It has cost me so much. But I have harnessed its power. And with it, my plan will work. With it, I will keep the lights on when the world goes dark. So it is what made him sick. Mr. Serene? Sorry to disturb you, sir, but I have that cleanup report on Dr. Kim's lab you wanted. Meet me in my office, soldier. I'll be there when I've sealed the CFR chamber. All right, so, yeah, like I was saying, welcome. Good morning, everyone. The lab explosion. My treatments all gone. First things first. Seal the chamber. We're gonna seal this chamber. Look, I'm not gonna lie, after last episode, I couldn't wait to get back on see here and see secured. to see where the story uh, went. Mr. Serene, I'm in your office. I'll be right there. Serene out. Okay. The soldier doesn't know how close to the end I am. Damn. Ah! I'm not oh! afraid of death. Oh! I'm afraid of Coming the enemy. What that would mean for me, for the plan. I can feel it infesting my thoughts. Whew, that scared the absolute shit out of me. Jesus, I wasn't ready for that. Look, he looks fucked up, man. He looks like he's on the end of his rope. But yeah, after all that crazy shit that happened yesterday, I couldn't wait to get back on this game and see where the story takes me. Ah. Oh shit. Come on, you got this. Paul. I don't know to trust anymore. This game does a pretty good job of Sophia Amaral talking over she top of me. To activate the lifeboat before it was ready. She wants to sabotage my operation. Who knows what she's told Jack? <gasps> Who knows how long she's been working against me? Huh? Look at that. He made a statue to honor the booty that died last episode. <laughs> but no, this game does a really good job, I think, of trying to make you see everything through Paul's eyes. You know, trying to maybe understand why he made the decisions he made. Um, not that they were the right ones, but you can kind of see putting his position. Be right with you, son. Why he would go the way he has. All right. Look at him. He he walked. He's walking Sir, like he's not sick. You now. ordered us to search the demolished lab. Your treatments were destroyed, but there was one left. The casing appears to be broken, but uh, it's all we could find. Well, I will fucking take it. One of my treatments, but it's damaged. Is it safe to use? Uh, sir, I didn't catch that. Or is it a trap? Another betrayal. Oh shit, he's starting to go crazy. The treatment will make me weak. Is that what they want? Can any of them be trusted? Huh. Alright, let's see what's up over here. I'm not a traitor. We're the same now. I need your help. I can focus on the mission. The lifeboat. See it through to the end. I still have allies I can trust. 
Look, you have to realize you're not going to keep me from getting the CFR. Last chance to walk away, Joyce. Oh, shit. He would find a defend us to slow Jack down. I'm going to have to fight Liam. Okay. You have all betrayed me. Assured my downfall. And now, I will assure yours. And my world will be renewed. My world will see balance. Chaos. It's falling apart. They're working against me. They're fighting each other. You'll need to get to Serene's office. He's got direct access to the CFR. All right? Oh, and then that's Charlie. The fracture. He fixes the world. Now go home happy. Charlie Wincott. Another weakling. A traitor siding with Jack. I can make them suffer. All of them. Okay, so here we have a choice, and this seems like a pretty fucking big one. Uh, when I make these choices, I don't try to make them like what would make what would make this easier for Jack or what would make this easier for me. I try to put myself in Paul's shoes and, you know, all the shit that he's been through, what he would decide at this point. Um, I think, honestly, Paul, from the beginning, has... He's had the best interest in mind, even though he's been fucking around and doing like some pretty dirty shit to do it. He's got he's got a good good intentions at heart. So I don't think that at this point he would lose faith in his plan. I don't. I think he's been planning this his entire fucking life. Right. He's been doing all this. So I think he would hold on to his reason and a final effort to see his plan through to the end. So Sir. that's what we're going to do. Thank you. I'll be right down. Dismissed. Yes, sir. So this is this is my choice. Uh, Damn, that's some good shit. Uh, <laughs> Let me get some of that crone on. I feel more clear-headed, <sighs> calmer, but it won't last. I need to work fast while I still can. <sighs> oh! Yeah, you saw that, huh? That I was in slow motion. Cool. Sixty-two. See, I think most people realize that uh, Paul wouldn't just abandon his his life goal. You know what I mean? So I think that's why everyone picked this. That means are we about to watch Paul Sawin's become unhinged. What about some television? He's triggered a catastrophe. The Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end, and this is where we come in. Good evening, Dr. Amaral. Five minutes out, Mr. Hatch. I've come to free you, my friend. It's time for you to rejoin the others, to return to the infinite. What was troubling me is who got them in the Kim's lab. She paid a visit minutes before the explosion. I need her found now. Liam? <laughs> Sir, I have some information about Warren Hatch. I want him apprehended immediately. All right, that's what happened last episode, obviously. And uh, here's this episode. Now, I'm going to eat a bowl of cereal while I watch this. And I'm, I'm excited to see what the fuck happens. So let's watch.
Okay, actually, I'm going to talk over top of this. I'm going to talk over top of this because I do not know if this is a copywritten song. I have no idea. So we're just going to keep talking. Oh, look, look there. That's cool. That's a that's a laptop. There's a laptop. Failsafe activated. Laptop. Oh, so we say. Yeah, calibrating for the LIFO protocol. Yeah. There we go. And now serial time. <laughs> Yes, hi. I'm gonna need oh. you to come with me. I knew you wouldn't listen to me. It was a simple fail safe. Once the chrono. I know what it was. It can't be undone. That was always the point, wasn't it? It wasn't for you to decide when. We've been in this together. You and Joyce. You blew up the lab. The lab? You sabotaged me. And then you come here, behind my back. This was Martin's work. I trusted you. He wants the fracture. Look, Just I... Just stop. You know what's always amazed me about you? Your ability to captivate. It's carried you so far. It's carried us so far. And there was a time I saw us going even further. You about to die, bitch. To fix this. Oh, oh shit! And that's, that happened simply because I chose for him to side with Martin. So that was my fault. It was, that was my fault. Old Charlie's bitch ass. Right 
Well, that was easy. Oh, he's saving. He's saving old boo thing. Or is he? You owe me one. Okay. He wants some of that booty on the ship. But you know, I would too. Fiona. if you can hear this, but it's Fiona. I need your help. Do you copy? Beth? It's Fiona. Do you copy? Beth? It didn't work. I'm sorry. I couldn't find the protocol. <laughs> Fiona Miller? Is that Jack? Yes, you're speaking. This is Jack Joyce. Beth told me you were working together. You might be the only ally I have left. What happened? Serene. There wasn't anything I could do, but Fiona, there is something we can do now. I need to find something we'll call the countermeasure. It's 12 sided, small, metallic. Like a soccer ball. The CFR. The what? The chronon field regulator. That is the countermeasure. And it can fix the fracture. I just realized the subtitles are back in sync on this episode. Which is, you know, pretty amazing. Cause that was annoying as shit. That's some dirty ass shoes. Or I guess he is filthy. Been a long night. This has to be some scary ass shit. You know, if this shit was really going down. Basement five. Nope, that's not creepy at all. They're probably just gonna shoot the fuck out of this guy, watch. Just like that, you get to get on Noah's Ark.
Is he the first one there? I guess he is. And then everyone else shows up. Get the fuck out of here. This is all the people we decided would get saved. A bunch of, bunch of old motherfuckers. Bitch, you need to thank me. Look, I was wrong, okay? Jack Joyce, we, he can use the CFR to fix the fracture. We need to get it to him. The CFR is what's powering this place right now, be honest. But I spoke to him. I spoke to Jack Joyce and he needs it. Just, if you, if you let Joyce use the CFR, and that means the lifeboat's gone. No, no, no. That's not, no. That's these not people the... down here, they can figure it out. They can fix the fracture. That's what you wanted these in the people, first place. These people, this is Monarch, okay? They're the ones that got us into this. Do you think they give a shit about any of us? I mean, you realize what you're asking. What's the plan once we get to Monarch? We need to find a way onto the lifeboat. Oh, Liam. Liam, what are you doing? Driving his Nissan. They get to stop. Sir. Sir. Liam Burke. He's trying to break it to Monarch. One kill master, isn't it? Mm. Come on, honey. Be careful not to slip on how wet your panties are right now. <laughs> we know where the CFR is, but Jack, it's Charlie. Listen, it's at the top of the Monarch Tower, so you gotta follow my instructions exactly. Jack. 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 Fiona, stop. Jack. No, no, no. Look. That area up there is insanely secure. He's not going to be able to get in. Hey, 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 wait. Wait. I need to finish this. I know. But I'm the one that should go. The CFR defenses. There's no way he's going to be able to get past them alone. I'm the only one. I mean, you belong down here. You actually would be useful. I'm dead weight. Just, I'm a glorified locksmith. Why don't you let somebody else be the hero? Okay, tough chick? Everyone needs IT, Charlie. Fuck you. When you get back. Hey, Charlie. You're an okay date. I know. Well, look at Charlie becoming the hero. He's gonna go upstairs and fucking die. Ah. 
Not to fuck with Liam Burke, all right? Do you know who I am? We've met. You're one of Monarch's elite. The one they tell me is a traitor. I'm not a traitor. I know what you want. You're protecting what's yours. I want to protect what's mine. We're the same now. And I need your help. And you need mine. You're looking for the lifeboat. Isn't that right? And you know what we're facing. I have a team down there. They will fix the fracture. Time will go on. But not if the CFR goes unprotected. CFR. It's our key. It's what makes the lifeboat possible. Powers it. But my enemies want it destroyed. You could keep it safe. And when this is over, your wife, she'll be waiting for you. So I could take her with me. She'll survive. Liam. What is he talking about? I just... I think of what happens if we're down there unprotected. None of us are saved. Him in his shiny ass suit. I need you to go with him. He's gonna take you to the lifeboat. I'll find you when it's over. The top of Monarch Tower. You'll find the CFR in a striker suit. That's all you'll need. Why the fuck would it be all the way at the top if they're all the way at the bottom? I just don't get it. It's up there. I don't know. What your husband's doing for you. It's admirable. Change things. The world. The universe. We're the first beings powerful enough to undo the very fabric that we're part of. And now we must believe that we are powerful enough to set things straight again. We've all made sacrifices. We have all made sacrifices. But we're not just here to work for ourselves. We're here for our families, for mankind, to change history, to make history. 
right here, right now. I have some other matters to attend to, so I will not be with you. But I know that you will succeed. It doesn't seem like very many people. It's like what? 30? 30 people? And it's just sitting up here all by its goddamn self. The most powerful thing that they could ever have. Their last and only hope. It's up here unguarded. It's just so fucking weird to me. Some hacker you are. Okay. I'll take it back. Gotcha. Now Liam's gonna come through. Joyce, see if our defenses are down. It's all you. You're good to go. Step the fuck away from there! I can't! I can't, Liam! Get the fuck I away! I can't! Mark! Get away! Joyce needs it. Joyce? Joyce can fix the fracture, Liam. You need to get the fuck out of here, Charlie. I'm not moving. Get out of here! I'm not moving, so you're gonna have to kill me. Once and for all, you're gonna have to fucking kill me. Because right now, Liam, I'm thinking about more than myself. You don't know what Joyce is gonna do. No, I don't. But I have faith in Fiona. And she believes in Joyce. So I gotta believe, too. Think about it. Fix a lifeboat, you save your wife. We fix the fracture, it saves us all. Okay? So go ahead. Go ahead and kill me. It's not gonna make a fucking difference. But if you kill Joyce, then we Oh, shit! He's like the goddamn Terminator! Your perceptions, Liam, they're off! This world you know? This world is ending! So you mean to tell me Liam killed all those people with headshots and never missed a single bullet? I mean, he couldn't hit him for nothing. But one world's end is merely another's beginning. I'll get choked, you big bastard. Come here. Oh shit, Hatch got some damn moves on it, doesn't he? My world will be renewed. My world will see better. Your knee and your... Oh shit! Then what happened? Then what happened, Martin? <laughs> Fucking Liam, man, he's a beast. The hall monitor, <laughs> he's an absolute beast. Look at all the zippers and straps on that. How the fuck did he get all that on? You cool and all in, but I'm gonna fuck you up. I am going to fuck you up. Shit is getting hairy, ladies and gentlemen. 
It is getting hairy and the Hendersons. All right. <laughs> but we're going to follow the same formula we've been doing uh, pretty much this whole thing. Um, I'm going to let this be its own episode. And then uh, I guess sequence five will be next. And I'll just, that'll be its own video. So that's what we're going to do. That's how we're going to play this out. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully that's cool. All right. If not, get over it. I love you guys. Thanks for the support. Drop a like if you did, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Later, guys. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. yeah.